don't know if you're aware of it, but during the breaks, quotes from you have been coming up yeah, on the screen. Yeah, I saw and, uh, yeah. A lot of them I've never said. Yeah. <laughs> really, our, our researcher is quite accurate. No, I'll tell you something. You were talking about, you really seemed genuinely surprised when you said, do I curse that much or something like that? But every time I read an article, they say, well, it's his preoccupation with Richard Pryor because Pryor's, you know, an inspiration to all the young black comics and many of the white comics and so forth. Now, I, I don't see that much of Pryor in you, but... I don't see it either. You know why I, I tell you the reason I talk on stage the way I talk every day. And I but don't, that's not true. Uh, it's, it is true. Well, then you must clean up your act when I come to your house. I curse I never, around you, too. I never hear it. Maybe That's because there ain't no spotlight on me with a mic in my hand. Maybe it's I don't different know. if someone casually says a curse and when you got a spotlight on you. Oh, uh, yeah, well, maybe that's true. But no, you're, I mean. That's not my whole show. I don't just walk out and say, ah, MF, ah, kiss my head. Good night, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> now that I understood. But no, you, but you don't talk, your, your talk is not a stream of obscenities when you're in the ice cream store no, or like that on stage grocery either. store or anything? No, no. Unless I go into characterization. There was yeah. one routine I did where I cursed, where I tell you where it got the most flack. I, did a, I was doing a routine with my father coming home drunk, but my father curses like that when he's drunk. So that's why I did it. I didn't want to go up and like, that's the way my father acted when he was drunk, so that's the way it did it. So, so truth is a defense, as they say. The truth is that that's the way, I mean, that's the way it happened, so that's the way I did it. Yeah. Can you think of anything that would embarrass you to hear from somebody else, you know? I mean, I, I still don't know what people say when they say, I was so embarrassed when I heard this or saw that. Well, what's the last time you blushed or, or, or were embarrassed? <laughs> we, don't, we don't blush. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> when's the last time I was embarrassed? Can you remember the last time you just got, ooh, it's embarrassing. Because no. your legendary coolth is amazing. My you know, legendary it's what? It's unwarranted for a guy your age to be... <laughs> you have Bob Hope's confidence that took him 35 years to get at 19, 20, and 21, and 22. I'm 24. You yeah, but you had it then, it seems to me. You have this unbelievable, calm, cool demeanor. And as the best people have pointed out, you could say the most obscene, wretched, sacrilegious, blasphemous thing. But those, Nothing like that's ever come out of my mouth. But those eyes make it all right. Some critics, several critics have pointed that out, that you have sweet eyes. <laughs> Is this getting kind of nauseating? <laughs> No, but it's an amazing quality in an actor, and it's wonderful on the screen because and you, can, you can get away with murder. You're like the naughty kid. But you've got Bob Hope confidence. You know what I mean I've by Bob Hope confidence? Bob Hope eyes is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like me. He does me, and it's spooky because he's the only person who does me who sounds like me when I hear it. I don't sound that much like me. The reason I'm getting off the subject now is because soon he's going to go, do me, and always going to go, come on, do it, and I don't feel like doing it. Oh, so yeah, no, you it. sneak it in when they're not no. thinking about it. i do yeah. it later. Yeah. Hey, that Eddie Murphy's something, isn't he? That was Bob Hope. That's a good impression. It is. You do good. a good Brando, too. But, Yeah. You do a lot and of impressions. How come you no, like? I don't how come like, you just? How come you never did movies and stuff? Because I always thought you were real funny. When I was, you mean when I was still around? No. Like, <laughs> 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 right now. I mean, uh, period. <laughs> I think you'd be a funny character actor. How come you never did I, anything? I, I've done that, but I've never done it in a big arena, you know, except for the Altman movie. But I, I'd love to do that. I'd, I'd love to do comic parts. That, I think it's, I see a movie where you and I are two guys who go out and solve a crime or commit one <laughs> or whatever, or, or, or two guys who are movie stars who go up to girls in bars and say, hey, you want to get in the movies or are you in a movie you want out of? We'll get you out of it. Or, you know, we, I see us as two cool guys moving like Hope and Crosby through the world in a film. <laughs> no, really, the road to Englewood. I, I just think it would be wonderful, wouldn't it? T tell, tell, tell more things you admire about me. I, I like that. Oh, how many languages do you speak? 
Oh, well, that's embarrassing. This guy, you hang out with this man, and he'll walk up to just anybody and just start kicking it to him in their language. And <laughs> it's real. I, I'm impressed. Remember that time I kicked it to the German ambassador? Yeah, that was real cool. When yeah, you, you just walked up and said, <laughs> And the German dude didn't know where he was. He said, they get, a German person meets him out they get happy. Foreigners start going, <laughs> 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 I see you've got a good ear because you have the double talk, but you're doing double talk German. But I know you could, you could learn real German right here on the spot. The whole language? No, just. <laughs> no, I'm going to demonstrate this right now because he has a wonderful ear. Was machst du, Liebling? Repeat. Was machst du, Liebling? Was machst? Was machst? Du, Liebling. Du, Liebling. Ausgezeichnet. Perfect. Ausgezeichnet. <laughs> What you said was, what, what, what are you doing, darling? What, <laughs> no, I mean, I thought this you might mask be... Is leaving. No, 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 no. No, no. I was giving you something you could use elsewhere. Now, now this, this is great. We did this once. Uh, no, we didn't. Vikan. 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 Ein so nettes. Ein so nettes. Mädchen. Mädchen. Wie du. Wie du. In so einem Lokal. In so einem Lokal. Wie diesem hier. Wie diesem hier. Arbeiten. 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 I'll bite you. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, I, my apologies to the fatherland. What else did I say? What did I just say? What's a nice girl like you doing working in a dump like this? Albiten means don't I'll like bite this. is to work. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I'll bite you indeed. But you say that afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just remarkable, though. I mean, your ear is good. Now, why don't you get a French lady or, or man to come tutor you in French? And, and you could pick these languages up like that. Play international concerts and make some real money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't like leaving the country. You're not happy much. A, abroad, are you? No, I did not. I went to France and did not like it. When you can't order like food, it's like I like a hamburger, and they like. <laughs> 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 you really feel stupid. I felt really stupid whenever I feel stupid when I leave the country. But you used a French phrase on the MTV Awards, and it was perfect. What I say? I've forgotten now. But you were during it was during a priest film thing, and you said, uh, "What was that? Somebody must have." I was probably reading it off What the French a call uh, something or other? Yeah. Your yeah. accent was faultless. Um, when we get back, I'd like to oh, come elegant. learn. Yeah, the guy with the sign is here. And then maybe you could, maybe you could help me with a problem that I have. You know it would be a funny touch on your show? Mm -hmm. If whenever you had to do a commercial, you hear a stage manager go, you got to go to commercial, dick. Whenever, have a guy yell really it out. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I got to go to commercial. I got to go to commercial, dick. It's not funny. <laughs> we'll be back after this.